Okay, sir. Um, can you please introduce yourself? Okay, to my us? name is Advocate Mafu, and I'm a Cameroon lawyer who has been duly appointed to be the spokesperson for Kings and Queens um, Funeral Services. Okay, sir. Yeah. Um, sir, can you confirm that you hired the heirs to Mr. Avduko? Uh, what we can say is there is um, people that approached us under the auspices of a proving family um, who came here to hire specifically a haze for the purposes of transporting a dead person who was apparently lying in another funeral parlor. But that funeral parlor, when we were told, was that it did not have enough or adequate transport uh, services. Which funeral parlor is that? They say it's Black Phoenix. Black Phoenix? Yeah. Okay. In Johannesburg? In Johannesburg, yes. Okay. So they say they've got a contract with Black Phoenix okay. and that um, their loved one is lying there. Okay. So, but bless Black Phoenix, apparently, when they sold the store to us, they said they didn't have enough transport okay. to that would help with ferrying the people and the body. So they decided to approach us for the purposes of just providing transport. So of which we did then um, contract them for that purpose and we gave them our heads for the purposes of transporting their loved one who was lying in another funeral parlor. Okay. Um, was the heads driven by your driver? Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and what's his name, please? Uh, I don't, I'm not privy to his details at the moment. Like I'm saying, I'm a lawyer and I don't deal with these things on a daily basis. Mine was just being appointed to handle the, the, the fracas and the nightmare that was here. But I can exclusively reveal to you that it was one of our drivers who went with the heights. So as the story unfolded is that um, when they left here, instead of go, because one of their private cars okay. had stickers of Lake Phoenix. Okay. So to us, when they represented their story, they said already Black Phoenix has given them a quantum, so but they were missing the car or the house which would then ferry the body. So they, we then provided them with, with the house. So in according to our driver, on, our, on their way to go and ferry the body, the so-called grieving parties then asked that they be taken to the chapel first. Oh, okay. So that means they actually went to the chapel? Yes. Okay. From here. From they here. They went to the chapel. Which chapel is that? Uh, it's Alleluia Ministries. Oh, they went to Alleluia Ministries straight yes. from here? From here. Because the story Alleluia Ministry is given is that um, the hearse was actually passing their church with the body and um, maybe the body now responded and began to shake, <laughs> you know. And that's what? very different from what you're saying, because from what you're saying, you're saying that the hairs actually left here without okay, the body. No, what? no coffin. No coffin. Yes. And went straight, now was diverted to the church. Yes. Oh, no, okay. No. When they left here, mm. they left under the auspices mm. of saying they were going to Black Phoenix Funeral Parlor. Okay. So our driver then informs us that on the way, mm. they asked that they be taken to the chapel, to the church first. Oh, okay. So it is when they went to the church mm. that they, when they got there, they asked to use our driver's phone mm. to make calls because apparently they ran out of time and data. Okay. So within that process, within that scourge, our driver eventually lost his phone to those people. Up Are you serious? Now. Up to now? Up to now. Your driver lost his phone, his phone in the church. In the church. <laughs> that was taken by the very same people who wow. came here when wow. they say they wanted assistance to make calls. Wow. So even up to now, we've opened a police case of theft against them okay. because our driver is still missing his cell phone. Wow. As things stand. Wow. That's the first portion. So today, earlier on before you came, we had a media briefing. Okay. Here, okay. we had uh, ENCA, they were here, uh, Southern uh, Sun, Southern Post, mm. uh, they were here to you know, to conduct similar interviews. Yeah. And with us, owners of Black Phoenix Funeral mm. Services were here. Oh, okay, that's great. Owners of Kingdom Blue Funeral Services were here. Mm. So it became apparent today mm. Mm. that they actually, and these people are not contracted to Phoenix. So you mean Alleluia Ministries was they were they were never contracted to Black Phoenix? No. Okay. 
In fact, the car that they were using, mm. it was their own private car. Wow. So they managed to have uh, stickers oh, of okay. that funeral parlor and they branded the car as if it mm. was coming from Black Phoenix, from Black Phoenix Funeral wow. Services. Wow. When in fact, that was not the case. Wow. So what eventually happened was, um, apparently these guys, they mm. also approached Kingdom Blue mm. Funeral Services. Mm. That is where they purchased the coffin. Okay. So when they purchased the coffin at Kingdom Blue, they said they had a deceased relative who had passed on at home. Okay. So they wanted a coffin so that they could help feed that deceased. And in fact, they had no manifest intentions of using any of the funeral parlors around wow. because they were taking that person to their rural area. Wow. That is how Kingdom Blue sold them the coffin only for the purposes of carrying their loved one mm. to the funeral area in the rural areas where everything else... Uh, and they never was mentioned there. that they, their relative died on Friday. No, 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 no. They never said they never said that to anyone. It, is, it became apparent today Okay. when all the heads of these funeral parlors met yeah. because they were now all implicated in this thing. Yeah. Then it became apparent that, in fact, there was a ploy or scheme for whatever advantage or outcome mm. that was not known to the funeral services then. The only full time the funeral parlors got to know was there was a social media outcry thereafter yeah. and their names were being implicated and mm. so on. That's how they got to know that there was a crisis. So. Three funeral parlors that were used mm. confirmed on record that none of the three funeral parlors had a corpse or a body of that nature. Mm. Mm. None whatsoever. And that mm. none of those people mm. actually had policies with them. None whatsoever. Mm. That it, they approached these people separately and individually mm. in terms of satisfying what they wanted to do. Mm. So, at the end of the day, this funeral parlors found themselves in, implicated on an outcome that they didn't anticipate, that were, they were never privy to, that they even at any stage mm. knew about. Wow. Wow. That is what happened on, on that. Wow. They were also alerted when they saw social media outcry yeah. that their names are about that. So none of the funeral parlors you know, we have got those people as funeral policy holders mm. or that corpse itself Mm. was ne in never in, in and, and, and the corpse actually was picked up from the church that is the story wow. now that we get to know because wow. these three yeah. funeral parlors mm. if they never had the corpse amongst them yeah so yeah. which means that corpse where, never where, where, where is the corpse coming from where is the corpse coming from <laughs> you know so that's this is crazy guys <laughs> this is crazy this is the devastating <laughs> thing because the three the three um funeral parlors that has been implicated in this case have all denied that the cops they had nothing to do with the cops um i'm not not the what, what are you guys called kings and queens kings funeral and, services yes not blue, black, Fini, black phonics funeral services and kingdom blue funeral services and not kingdom blue funeral services none of these guys you know had nothing to do with the cops none of them and they drove from this place from kings, kings and, and queens funeral services straight to the straight church. to the church and that's totally different from the um, story that we heard from the hallelujah ministries international because from their side they said they said that the the, the hires already had the cops you know? know and 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 the story is completely changing um, from the side of the funeral services so um, advocate I'm gonna ask you one other question please do tell us um, do you have the identity of the relative, the supposed relative of the dead, supposedly dead human, dead okay. person? Okay, because these people inherently, when they came here, mm. they said they had a funeral policy with Black Phoenix. Yeah. At that stage, they were just here to contract for the purpose of ferrying people to the um they didn't really disclose like identity documentation because it was not necessary because yeah. they're not police holders to with us but it's, it's it's part of what we intend to do because already um the matter has been uh lodged with the saps 
we've opened a case with uh, Chippy Police Station. Okay. The detectives are currently working on it to ascertain the identities of the people. Okay. Fortunate enough, at Kings and Queens, we've got cameras, so right. we have got facial recognition of the people that came here, you know, with that ploy. And sooner or later, I'm sure their identity will be revealed and then we'll get to know, you know, why they did what they did to us. Yeah. And specifically, why us and what was the motive? Yeah. Because we all saw the outcome. But we just don't know what was the motive mm. in all this and why we were implicated mm. and used. Because at the, end, at the end of the day, we've suffered a lot of reputational damage. We've suffered business-wise. Our image is at stake. So it's an uphill task that we're left with now to clear our identity and name so that we prove legitimacy to our valued customers and clients that we have nothing to do with the events that happened at Hallelujah Ministries. That in fact, kings and queens for their part, they were just there because they were approached to provide transport services to help a supposedly policy holder of Black Phoenix funerals, who it turned out that it was a lie either. Everything was a lie coming from a church? Yeah. Wow. Everything wow, was guys. A lie. Wow. So it's, 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 wow. it's surprising. Wow. It's surprising. It's surprising. It's surprising. Because it's a church. That's yeah. why probably the guards are down because yeah. no one really suspected that yeah. there could be an issue. And remember, this was on a weekend. So yeah. really, yeah. everything was more like on an emergency basis. No one could have preempted the outcome yeah. of what happened soon thereafter. Yeah. Okay. Um. Thank you so much, advocates. Um. Um. I'm gonna go off the recording okay. and then um discuss a few more things with you privately. Okay. No thank you so much for your time. All right. And thank you to everyone. We will see that truth prevails in the body of Christ. We will see that truth prevails in Africa. Thank you so much. Truth shall prevail.